we are uh yeah we're we're good okay sorry folks we're uh newbie newbie to nope. streaming right. more than one here normally I just stream myself but i'm running the obs for all of us here tonight okay. so sorry yeah. folks we're uh, so welcome uh, we're, we're good to go yep <laughs> rewind to the top welcome everyone to the elder brain uh purveyors of fine role-playing content canadian content coming at you on the twitch um i'm ian with me, I've got uh, Devin and Craig. Uh, without us, we have Mike and Jack. Unfortunately, they are busy tonight. So what does that mean? It means some more quiet year. Um, Craig, do we have any announcements? How many more weeks of hiatus are we looking at here? One more after this? Or are we I think a couple more, a couple more weeks um, okay. that we're, we're going to be going uh, on our so, hiatus. And then... Uh, into august yeah right? sort of into Back. august is sort of what it, what i'm thinking and then uh we have you know we haven't really decided basically until uh, all of our vacations and, and all those things are kind of done and out of the way um, once all five really of us can actually show up again yeah exactly that's that's what it comes down to uh and then we will be we'll be going back to our stream then uh but for now we're just gonna keep playing stuff yeah so i think devin's an old pro with this at this point, but this is Craig's <laughs> first crack at this. So um, it is. It's going to be fun. I'm still using my custom intro that I've used for the other two games. So um, yeah, let's just dive right in, shall we? Let's do this. All right. The world of Eudora is no stranger to upheaval. Tonight's story may be one from her distant past or something from a possible future. Some say it was a fight between factions of dragons. Others say it was a civil war amongst the Titans. Still others claim it was a cosmic struggle between the philosophies of order and chaos themselves. Regardless of the players, and though the war raged long, it is finally over. It's unclear who even won, but the devastating effects have been felt even in this remote corner of the world. Signs and portents of a coming cataclysm are clear. As has happened so many times before, Eudora is about to renew herself. The survivors and refugees from the conflict are gathering here from all over the world, not to rebuild society, but merely to save what little they can from the coming storm. All right, so that's the setup. Sounds there was ominous. a big war, and we know the end of the world is coming, and we've got a year. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, quickly go over the game components, especially for Craig, our newcomer, and plus it's part of the walkthrough. So. Uh, we've got a big blank page here. This is our map. Before we start playing, we're going to establish some of the landscape, but we're going to draw everything that we do on the map. Uh, but we're not going to write words. Uh, symbols is fine, but we're not going to like annotate anything. Uh, we all take turns drawing on the map. Uh, don't worry too much about your drawings because they're all going to be mouse squiggles <laughs> anyway. Um, in your quick reference section uh, in your journal should be a turn summary. Uh, hopefully that Did that pop up for everyone? I hope so. Um, turn summary uh, just goes over everything that we do on your turns. We'll explain what those actions actually mean in a second. Um, next, we have in the materials of your journal, we've got this new project thing. And I'll just drag one onto the map for everyone to see. This is a new project. Um, we use these to track our projects in the game. Uh, and in the green bubble, we'll put a number between one and six. That's the number of weeks left on the project. Um, that is that contempt? Uh, you'll notice on each of our player tokens, there is a red bubble with a zero in it. Um, this is where we're going to track contempt. So we don't speak out of turn in the game. <laughs> Instead, what you do is if someone else does something on their turn that you disagree with, you think it's unsettling in the game or whatever, you just increment your, your contempt. That's just showing how well we're playing together and how harmonious things are in the community. Now, having watched the previous two, I'm going to say there has not been enough uh, discontentment. I'm just going to throw that out there. I think we need uh, a bit lower. You guys get along way too well. So. <laughs> I think I need to play devil's advocate tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Maybe. 
Um, and the last <laughs> thing is down in the bottom corner here, we've got a deck of cards. I've already removed five cards from each suit, but otherwise they're sorted by suits, shuffled up. And these are how we make things happen in the game on your turn, you're gonna draw a card. We'll do what the card says and then move on. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. When we play The Quiet Year, we don't control specific characters or act out scenes together. Instead, we're acting as sort of abstract social forces within the community. At any point, you might be representing a single person or a faction or uh, a force of nature. It'll just vary depending on what happens on your turn. This is a story about social forces and their impact on the land rather than rather than being about specific individuals. At the same time as we're playing the community, we're also looking for opportunities to introduce new and interesting challenges into the story. It's our job to make sure that there is always difficult decisions uh, to be made and uncertainties to be explored as we introduce interesting challenges for the community and then figure out how to address them, tensions will emerge, hopefully, uh, and ultimately <laughs> reveal the character and future of our community. Um, before we begin the first week of play, we're going to establish a general landscape for our map. Hmm. Um, so what habitat are we going to explore this week? So we've so, done an island and we've done mountains. Right, right. So what hmm. else are we thinking? Well, well, if we follow the Magic the Gathering staples, we still have plains, swamp, forest let's do uh let's do jungle like a jungle forest big tropical jungle all right must we agree mm -hmm. okay so let's see i'm gonna start drawing mike hey what's up oh man your phone got laked uh -oh. oh i've had that happen john's gonna draw bummer oh. dude Our OBS wizard is here, so he can uh, rate me on my. Actually, no, don't don't rate me on my stream setup, Mike. Don't do it. Just to find us. We're in a jungle. All right, we got a palm tree. Glock <laughs> Energy, what's up, Glock Energy? Uh, this is a different game, so we are on hiatus from our regular D D stream, uh, and we are doing some different things. So this is a game that we've played a couple of times. This is our third round. Um, so it's we're sort of setting it in in the same world as our campaign stream. Uh, but it's not necessarily canon, unless there's stuff in it that I like and say. I was, was going to say, plug this, it into is, my world, but. this is just us giving Craig world building ideas. Yeah, absolutely. It is, yeah. So we are taking a bit of a break from our D&D uh, &D campaign. We will be back to that uh, sometime in, in August or September. Um, but yeah, hang out and uh, have fun. All right, there's it's, our It's job. a fun game from what I've seen. This is my first time playing it. These these guys have are uh, vets at it now, but. I've enjoyed what I've seen so far, so it's a good storytelling game. All right. There is our establishing jungle in the middle of the map. Um, all right. I've drawn that we are in a jungle. Uh, let's go around the horn. We'll start with Craig. Add a Yo. terrain feature you would like to add to our map. A terrain feature. Okay. So, um, I've got a really cool idea. All right. And... Uh, now I am I am uh it's funny because I am a map maker but not this sort of thing so um forgive me but I think we need a large This is a canyon. Ooh, nice. Like a crack in the ground. May not be grand. It's, it's, the, it's the okay canyon, not the grand canyon. Just just an okay one. And then this kind of represents the crack at the bottom, I guess. The chasm. Noise. All right, uh, Devin, what's your terrain feature going to be? Well, seeing as how we're in one of them jungles, uh, jungle things that I hear so much about, uh, we're going to... Uh, the more jungle on this side too. We're, we're going to enjoy, let's see. It's a good place to put this. I'm being way too detailed with this here. That's my problem uh, when I sort of draw stuff. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I got to add the details. No, I'm not. Okay, that's a canyon. 
We're going to have a big old volcano. Beautiful. Can't go wrong with a volcano. I mean, um, you can if it's dangerous, but nice. Terrain feature, I think I'm going to do. This is dope. Um, I want to visit here now. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to draw. Uh, we're going to have a sandy beach over here. So there's a bit of a, there's a coastline nearby, I guess. Is what I'm saying. So big old sandy beach. I kind of I partly went with jungle because in in my world, Vidora, like there is jungle like far to the south, so it's not anywhere near like where we're playing, but. There are some big jungles that exist, so yeah. yeah that's a bigger beach. That works. There we go. Mm -hmm. And I guess that kind of implies that there's water over here too, doesn't it? Well, beach, you would yes. you would assume so. <laughs> <laughs> you would assume the beach implies water. All right. So there's our terrain features. Uh, next, we're going to go on to our starting resources. So let's pick three. So each was. Uh, pick a resource that is important to our community. Okay. And then we're going to determine whether those are, they're important because we've got lots of them or important because we don't have enough of them. Okay. Is this, are we doing the same order? Am I, am I going? Yeah, go, yeah. Okay. I've got, I got us in alphabetical order. So you're going first. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to say um, that so with the presence of volcano and the, the canyon, we've got some tectonic plates going. We've got some crushing forces. We're gonna have we're gonna have gold. Gold, like like great. down in the crevasse, I'd say. There's, there's gold in them dar hills. There's gold yeah. in them dar chasms. Um, yeah, so in the chasm, kind of like around the base of the, the volcano, we'll say that there's we'll say that there's some gold. Okay. So do I draw that in? Um. Or do you yes. Draw that in. Okay. Put some put some gold nuggets in there, Devin. What do we have? What else is a resource for us? Ah, uh, I mean, realistically, bugs. But uh, let's. What was something you'd find in a jungle? Uh, eat. I say Pete. Okay. Wood. Pete, yeah. Hey Pete. Yeah. Uh, how we got there and I don't know, got lost along the way, but. Um, I'm trying to think like obviously wood and like there's animals and stuff like, I'm trying to think outside of like what would be kind of everywhere. So another thing, another resource that is important to this community, I think I'll throw in a bit of a curveball into some magic. We, oh, we actually have magic this time. We're going to say there's magic as a resource. All right. No more so sad those, wizard hat. Of those three things, uh, which one is, do we have in abundance? Do we have abundant gold, abundant peat, or abundant magic? Hmm. I'm leaning to peat seems like the one that seems easiest to have lots of. Until it peter out. Or we could have, out, uh, we could have lots of I was, gold. I was going to say, I think you could have an abundance of peat. There, there might be a lot of gold, but we we don't have we don't have it yet right it's we, there we but it's it. yeah to get a mine and stuff so peat like probably yeah there's lots of peats peat one and peat number two peter pd all right pete's sake this is there everywhere there's a bunch of them hanging out there we go there are our resources are up in the top corner there just Put them in a text box on the map. I hear one of them even has a dragon. Oh, reminded of. <laughs> okay. Um, you know the puns are going to flow now that I'm here with you guys. So. Uh huh. All right. So that's our setup. This is this is where our community is going to be established. Oh, we've all gathered, crossed the crevasse, or huddled at the foot of the volcano. Um, and Craig, again, since yes, you're sir. the newbie. You get to go first, so click on the deck, and you should deal yourself. Drag a card to yourself to deal. I think it's. I got the two of hearts. All right. Actually, I'm gonna put this up here. Yeah, text me get somewhere else. Okay, I'll throw this up here for me. All right. So in the, so have you found 
the descriptions of the cards. The oracle, is that the oracle? Yeah, is? so look on spring for hearts and read out the two of hearts. There's a large body of water on the map. Where is it? Water does it look like all? Oh, there's a giant man-made structure. Where is it? Why is it abandoned? I mean, well, we've already established there's water, so I'm going to go with giant man-made structure cool. on the map. Where is it and why is it abandoned? Uh, there's a giant man-made structure, and it is... It is a bunker. Ooh, I like it. It is a bunker, and it is on like the precipice, like the edge of the chasm, like over here. Oh, I wanted to fill that. That's the one I wanted to do. I wanted to have it filled. Let me draw another one. Cool. Um, and it is abandoned because there is an unknown substance in crates and barrels in there that that are leaking and Ooh. it's got a it's got a stank to it a bit of nasty goo all right yeah, it's got a stank uh i just realized i skipped ahead a bit because i haven't explained how you how you do a turn so good job you played a card <laughs> well done uh next we adjust you adjust the dice to. uh that since we have no project on the go, there are no dice to adjust. Okay. And third, you take an action. So the three actions that you can do on your turn, discover something new, which is basically just add something to the map, whether that is uh, a location, an event, a, a, a person, uh, something new. What else do they suggest? Hold uh, a discussion or start a project. Are those the... Yeah. So situ yeah, situation, a problem, an opportunity. That's discover something new. Hold a discussion. That's the way to talk out of turn. Basically, you uh, either propose a topic for a discussion, and we all get to to, uh, to uh, contribute a short sentence to it, okay. or you can ask a question. If you ask a question, then you don't get to contribute. You ask a question, the other two of us answer on behalf of the group, and then we move on. Sure, sure. And the other thing you can do is start a project, which is grab a project token uh, and accomplish uh, set out to accomplish something. Um, projects always complete and they always, um, uh, da, 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 it, sorry, choose to declare what the community will do to resolve it. So there's no agreeing or disagreeing. The community simply start to work on your project. Okay. This is where you often generate contempt when someone starts a project that no one else yeah. wants. To do. So I'm going to, I'm going to start a project. Yep. So um, my, my thought is that, um, our com the community is probably like on the side of the jungle, like closer to the beach, the beach and the chasm, like they washed up ashore here, whatever. Mm -hmm. and so to get to these things across the other side, we got to cross that chasm. So I'm going to say that we need to, they're going to build a bridge. That is a great project. So uh, can I name it? Can I give it a name here? Yep, you should be able to. Uh... Uh, How gonna... long? I think it's this is probably a, a decent. This is good, this is fairly long because uh, they want to build it well. So if I remember from watching like zero six, they like say it's probably like like those those are weeks. That's how many weeks it takes. Yeah, I'd say four weeks would be good. I'd say probably four weeks. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. So to set the counter to four. That is the green bubble on the token. All right, Chasm Bridge project is started. Mm -hmm. um, when Cross the project, that bridge when we get to it. So, yeah. perfect. so when the project re when the counter reaches zero, then you get to describe how the project completes. It doesn't necessarily have to be successful, but it will finish. Okay. Um, but that is Craig's turn. So Devin, you can go ahead and draw a card. I draw. I draw one card. Uh, it is, oh my God. How do I, oh geez, hold on, I think I'm, there we go. Okay. The five of hearts. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so the five of hearts, there is disquieting legend about this place or alarming weather patterns destroy something. <laughs> we don't have much to destroy. We don't have much to destroy. 
So there is a disquieting legend about this place. Well, as it happens, the older folks among those who have managed to make it here, those who grew up with the old tales of the before times, recognize that this volcano rising above them, smoking like a crater left after a meteor strike, it is said that it is the lair of a great, terrible dragon. Oh, oh man. Oh boy. The chasm is a dragon. Though it has not been seen in quite some time, there are whispers among the survivors that the recent cataclysmic events have awoken the beast. This must be Eudora's ancient past then. Hmm. Good. Or a distant future. Hey, I just said I just said legend. True. Doesn't have to be true. Mm. It's true. It's true. It's just a legend. Oh, For all we know, right. it could just be a kobold with an illusion spell. <laughs> Who would ever do that? <laughs> that was a dumb idea. Talk. Nobody would fall for that. All right, so now we have to adjust <clears throat> the dice. Adjust the dice. The chasm bridge goes down to three. And let's see. What does anybody know? All the destructive projects. Project discussion or discovery. Um, Pete three, who is the uh, more, <laughs> <laughs> who is the more uh, anxious of of the Pete's, he uh, he's thinking that this 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 legend, you know seems a little too close to reality for his liking so he and a couple of uh, other like-minded individuals have begun to uh, abscond themselves down to the beach and are attempting to create some rafts and get out of here interesting Ooh. so we will start a one-week project to build terrible rafts to just get the hell out yeah. Nice. Just in case. Just in case. Quick escape. We're gonna have to treat those rafts with something. Should get too terrible. All right. That's a project. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw that in. Okay. All right. I guess that means it's my turn. And I draw the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts says, whoops. Oh, that's interesting. No, oh, it's bedtime. That's what the Queen of Hearts says. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is the most beautiful thing in this area? Or what's the most hideous thing in this area? P3 is the most hideous. <laughs> Can't they be the same thing? It's, it's possible. Ooh. It's true. Most beautiful thing and most hideous thing. I'm going to say that the volcano is strikingly beautiful. It, it, it you know, it glows at night. You can see the the, the rivulets of, of molten rock coming down the far side, thankfully. Mm. Uh, but it does sort of light the night sky. And and uh, yes, it's although uh, uh, a horrible danger to our community. It is it is still quite quite lovely to behold. Um, now I will, oh, decrement. So the, <laughs> the rafts complete. Hmm. So Devin, they've completed the rafts. Uh, they completed the rafts. They are not super great, but they will hold for a reasonable amount of time. This has satisfied Pete three and uh, he is perfectly fine with having a quick escape necessary to GTFO should the need arise. But he is not quite ready to get out of here just yet. He needs to make sure he's got supplies and that he's got everything he needs. So he's actually going to be hanging around a bit longer and uh, starting to stock up. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and draw yeah, your completed working, rafts on the beach. On that. And... <sighs> What am I? You know what? I'm going to be boring and say that 
We probably are tired of living in lean tos and huts or rather lean tos and tents. And we're going to build like some proper housing. Mm. Uh, since we have lots of peats to do the work, it should be uh, <laughs> relatively quick. Um, so we want to build like peat, like rolled peat huts, basically. Uh, what are we looking at? Two, three weeks? I'll say three. Get a nice leaning tower in there as well. Leaning tower of peats. That'll be mm -hmm. good. good addition. All right. Um, that was my project. I'm done. So back up to Craig to draw a card. Hey. I got the ten. The ten of hearts. Go fish. Uh, the ten of hearts. There's another community somewhere on the map. Where are they? What sets them apart from you? Or what belief or practice helps to unify your community? Um, hmm. It's another community on the map. There is... There is a community on the other side of the volcano. Mm -hmm. And uh, got a couple of little tents over here. Uh, and they are led by a guy named Joe. Uh oh, Pete's versus Joe's. And Joe hails all the time. Joe believes the volcano is their god. Oof. If you get that reference, thank you. You're also old. <laughs> Joe versus the volcano. Um, They're not against the volcano. I know, but but still, just I'm throwing, you know, I'm breaking from the narrative of the movie a little bit. But uh, so the Joes over here, um, these uh, these are regular Joes too, not nothing fancy. Uh, <laughs> average these are, Joes. These are your average Joes, and they. Uh, they don't like the fact that um, the Peets are encroaching on their territory and they are, are not happy about this bridge being built. And they're also trying to shout warnings about the bunker that the bunker is sacred and they must not enter it. Ah, uh, yes, the sacred bunker. Yes. All right, that was your card. Now we will knock down project counters. So Chasm Bridge goes down to one. Huts are down to two weeks left. And now you can do your action. Mm. Uh, I think I think there's a discussion needed about uh, P3 and his plan to abscond with uh, the supplies. I'm going to say that um, that uh, PD um, doesn't really care if P3 leaves no no he it's it's petri petri okay yes there we go um he doesn't he doesn't care as, if petri leaves but uh he doesn't want him to take any supplies petri can have his dish and leave with that but that's it <laughs> um, but the rest of the supplies pd pd kind of gets uh, some followers up in arms and says hey you want you want to flee the volcano and the quote-unquote dragon that's there fine um take what you got on you and that's it um, Devin, what do you have to say to the uh, topic of, at hand? Petrie is Pete Petrie believes that it's only a matter of time before this place is gone, and everyone should go with him. Many people believe he's crazy. But this is the land before time. Time doesn't matter. Peter should know that. <laughs> Come on. Jeez. I'm um sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> you, you said what we were all thinking. <laughs> it's just a, you set me up too easy for that one. Yep. <laughs> I think there are enough other Pete's 
that are more concerned about having supplies rather than worrying about leaving with supplies. So they're a little annoyed with Petrie for wasting time and effort on building the rafts when he could have been helping build huts or getting more food or defending defending against the Joes. Because we hate the Joes because we're Cobra, obviously. So... um... Uh, so yeah, that's, that's our Joe's. discussion. We'll get them. <laughs> and I guess if I voice it, I should probably. So how, right. how does how does this resolve? Do we do we resolve it? Well, that's that's the thing about discussions. They don't resolve. You just have them, and it's kind of like real life. They say each discussion is tied to blah blah blah. Where is it? Um, Yes, this is how conversation in communities work. They are untidy and inconclusive affairs. <laughs> that's just it. We each get our pe- say our piece, and then that's that's the discussion. We each say our Pete, Pete's mm. <laughs> in the discussion. Cool. So is that? I guess that's the end of my turn then. That's the end of your turn. So Devin can draw a card. Hooray! Did we resolve? Uh, I don't think we resolved the dice. Uh, yeah, I did there. count them down. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. The Eight of Hearts. An old piece of machinery discovered broken, but perhaps repairable, or an old piece of machinery discovered cursed and dangerous. How does the community destroy it? Ooh. Hmm. Oh, that's a, oh. Do we want something that is broken but potentially useful, or cursed and dangerous and then destroyed? Oh. I mean, we've got a bunker that's a perfect place for that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, chuck it in the cabin. Well, you know what? That's yeah. That's 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 true, actually. I was kind of thinking that as they were building the bridge, they, uh, as they're kind of like driving in pythons and, and getting posts and setting things up, they ended up unearthing some kind of, uh, arcana. <laughs> yeah. Some unearthed arcana, some sort of strange, strange arcane <laughs> implement, <laughs> um, some sort of, uh, some sort of machine. Not really sure what it was, um, but it didn't take long that every time er, everyone who touched it seemed to very, very much desire to continue having it. And the entire workforce broke out into arguments that went into blows and they had to deal with it. Now, since of course we have magic, um, it is scarce, of course, as it always is, but they're able to determine that it is a cursed device, which is constantly seeking new wielders. Perhaps it's a pepper box possessed by a demon. <laughs> um, and it is chucked into the chasm and thrown into the fire. <laughs> before it could corrupt the rest. But, of course, it still sits down there at the bottom of the chasm, waiting. All right. I'm curious. That was your card. Let's uh, decrement some dice. I'll just the dice. A random stranger right. named Dinar cast ma- to take magic on it to determine... <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more week left on huts, and the bridge completes. Craig, tell us about yes. your bridge. Uh, so this bridge uh, is—it's a, a thing of beauty. Um, with the the tall trees that are present, um, they're able to really um, make a, a really nice looking bridge. Nicer than I'm making it look. <laughs> um, but it's uh, like kind of like a rope plank bridge. Um, 
they use a lot of uh, sort of the natural vines uh, to weave together some good supports. Uh, they make it nice and wide and, and sturdy. It's anchored in quite well. Uh, they pack it down with, with peat in between some of the boards as well to give it some cushioning. And uh, it's it's a nice it's a nice bridge. It creaks a little bit, uh, and it gives them it gives uh, the peats a perfect view of the arcane implement directly below them in the chasm. Mm. And when people cross the bridge, there's the kind of that creaking, and they feel like a almost like a. A weird whisper or something kind of come up from the chasm they're like hmm, interesting the whispering chasm so people tend to tend people tend to run across fast but uh the joes are watching the the bridge be completed from a distance and you can they don't look too happy about the fact that it was completed all right that's the dice uh devin you got an action oh one more thing they are afraid um if it breaks, they're afraid it'll become the bridge of Chasm Doom. But, oh, yeah. Boo. Oh, boo. That's impressive, actually. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't you know me? <laughs> All right. We need another project. So <laughs> I think um, <laughs> while they are walking across <laughs> the bridge, there are a few <clears throat> of the folk who notice a bit of a glint in the chasm reflecting off the sun. And while there are the whispers emerging up from the dreaded cursed artifact, they realize that there is gold. Now, survivors do not necessarily have much of a need for gold, but Mr. Petrie, who is planning to abandon <laughs> and leave this place, mm. has some ideas that gold might be something useful if he wants to go to somewhere else. And so he is beginning to lead some would say a suicidal expedition down into the chasm to retrieve some gold, hopefully without all of them succumbing to chasm madness. Mm. That sure sounds exciting. I'm thinking uh, probably three weeks to properly yeah. descend the chasm without, you know. So is this just uh, prospecting sites to dig or is this? This is full on like prospecting sites and also digging like this is okay. this is a full this is a full on ex, uh, expedition and, uh, and mining operation so i'm so that's why i'm thinking 3 weeks because i want to build scaffolding and and properly secure the lines and and get everything hooked up and ready and then start mining they're they're establishing the mining facility okay so yeah establishing the mine yeah i'm yes. saying that all right and that's it for me i think cool then i should draw a card and I get the Ace of Hearts. Ooh. Ace of Hearts says, what group has the highest status in the community? What must people do to gain inclusion in this group? Or are there distinct family units in the community? If so, what family structures are common? Uh, status group. So group with high status or Distinct family units. The Peters. <laughs> Petersons. The Peters, yes. <laughs> the Petersons. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, I got to make all this canon. Yeah. <laughs> what group has the highest status? Well, we haven't really done much yet, so I don't think we've really sort of broken... Oh, you got a sleepy doggy. <laughs> um, oh, he's hanging out. So we haven't really like factionized our community yet. Like, there's we well, we have Petrie and his guys, and then everybody else. Yeah, and that's, that's about it. That that's is about true. it. Everyone else is still sort there's, of in survival. There's Petrie, mode. there's PD. Um, so I guess there are distinct family units um, and what family structures are common. Well, obviously the foundation of every family is a solid peat. So, um, but um, since these are sort of refugees and survivors from far flung places, uh, people tend to be, um, well, for lack of a better term, sort of uh, uh, ghettoizing and, and, uh, mm -hmm gathering in in cultural or racial groups 
So there are you know, gnomes and halflings and humans and elves and sort of your, your general D&D races here. Uh, there's maybe a few cat folk, uh, maybe no no uh, uh, dragonborn or any of the more exotic ones, but, uh, and they sent, so people are starting to, uh, uh, yeah, gather into into groups like that, or people from a particular uh, land or kingdom will also band mm. together because they've got common customs that they need to observe or whatever. So there, there are some inter interspecies groups as well as just straight on, just you know, this this hut is the elf hut kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, that's so people are breaking up into more into, so not necessarily family groups, but definitely you know, cultural, eth ethno-cultural groups, Zeno, I guess would be the- Xenocentric or Xeno. Yes. Yeah. Um, all right, so that was my card. Now, the digging for gold goes down to two weeks and the huts are done. Ooh, After my hut. hut. So I'm gonna draw some huts. While I'm drawing the huts, I'll describe how awful it is to live in a hut made of sod because it's already pretty damp here in the jungle and um is it sodding awful <laughs> it's sodding awful yes it's I'm not too to... bad i mean they, they looked at the peat they turned it into a hut and they said look peat's a hut no it doesn't get any better does it all right i'm gonna draw <laughs> Oh, I, I I can't help it either. Like that one hurt. This is how my just ask my wife. Like this is like my brain thinks in puns. It just All right. everything everything is a pun. Everything is wordplay. All right. This I is can't not a hut. It's a bad habit. Not a great hut, but it is a hut. Oops. Now I'll try and select the hut and copy it. Huh. We can have the pizza hut. We can have the Tower of Pete's leaning a little bit. All right. We got some facade huts here on the beach. Uh, or next to the beach. Um, they're not great. They're a little damp, but they are giving people at least shelter. Um, and they are, the good news is they are quite resilient to the rain because they all, they sort of soak it up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's true. Quite, so although it is, Continually damp. It is no more than damp inside. So, um, that was my project. Uh, I've decremented the dice. Um, gosh, we need more projects. We do need some projects. Yeah. Okay, we've got some shelter. Probably need food. Do we need food? We probably need food. Oh, oh, even better. Um, we're going to. Uh, start training some, I guess they'd be like outriders or rangers, people to go out and sort of run a perimeter on the far side of the, the bridge mm, to mm. do uh, uh, scavenging and hunting while they're there, but also just keep an eye on the Joes. We call them the no-Joes. So I'm going to codename them Team Cobra to keep an eye on the Joes. <laughs> Watch those Joes. Make sure they don't get up to anything suspicious. Um, and I think it should be relatively quick to, like, we can arm them with with pointed sticks for now, and uh, they're doing just basically subsistence, you know, hunter gatherer type stuff. So I'll give, I'll get them ready in a week. Cool. Cobra. And that's my turn. So they Craig find actual can... cobras to like turn into like <laughs> skins and stuff. Perfect. All right, so I they're, draw. Uh, they're uh, they're Yuantes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I draw a card. Let us see what happens. This is the nine of hearts. Uh, what does the nine of hearts do? The nine of hearts. A charismatic young girl convinces many to help her with an elaborate scheme. What is it? Who joins her endeavors? Start a project to reflect. Or a charismatic young girl tries to tempt many into sinful, dangerous activity. How why does she do this? How does the community respond? Um, I gotta go with the first. 
Uh, Prince Media Health with an elaborate scheme. So her scheme, um, this this girl's name is uh, Petra, because it's got to be a derivative. Of sure. Pete. Um, she comes from a bit of a you know wealthy upbringing, and she does not like living in huts. Hmm. Um, and she really is eyeing that bunker as, you know, the, the scheme, or I guess the scheme or the endeavor is to try to convince people that the bunker would be a much better place to live. They could decorate it and, you know, make it all nice inside. It gives better protection from the Joes. Um, and, uh, there's probably some art and things in there, you know, uh, relics of the past that would be we definitely need to preserve them you know we need to we need to preserve the past as much as we can so her project uh is going to be to um no oh, wait what happened why is my project over there i don't know what's going on over here sorry my screen's doing some funky business here i don't know what's happening why did this new project thing pop up over here oh did you drag the maybe it won't it won't let me drag it though for some reason this is weird hmm. there we go <laughs> roll 20 um so we're gonna call this the um let's we'll call it petra's plan and i imagine this would probably take um it's more of an excavation, um, so pretty pretty short. It'll take her like probably a week to try and convince people, and then another week to actually carry it out. Yeah. So we'll say we'll say two weeks. Sounds fair. Yeah. Yar. All right. Then. Uh, and then uh, discover something new. All the discussions start. A oh, hang on. First, we gotta count down the dice. Okay. So digging for gold does, goes down to one. Team Cobra goes to zero. Um, yeah, they're not well outfitted, but they are at least now patrolling the far side of the bridge. So they're out there. So I will draw Team Cobra, and you can continue with your uh, with your action. Cool. Um, I think uh, another. Uh... A new discovery. A new discovery is that the volcano. So the legend of the dragon um, is still kind of in people's minds, and they discovered that on particularly quiet nights, um, the caldera of the volcano seems to give off uh not the standard reddish glow that you would expect um but actually more of like a like a purpley red Ooh. glow and there is uh some strange strange uh smoke seems to kind of emanate from it only on on like certain certain nights That's creepy. Yeah. So that's, I'm going to say that's my new discovery. That's the new discovery. You're, uh, you're trying real hard there, Ian. I'm <laughs> you doing my best. To cobra, you know, that's a... Doing my cobra. best. I had to zoom in a lot. <laughs> oh, I could have used a finer pen. Oh, well, there we go. That's our Cobra. We know they're there. We know they're there. <laughs> Um, so do the Joes. We know what it is. Yeah. All right. So sorry, that was a discovery that there was that the volcano sometimes goes purple. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Let's give me notes here. So Team Cobra. Bridge four. Food and one, two, three, Joe's, and then the volcano. 
Sometimes so it's purple. We all know purple is the color of magic. So, all right, that was Craig's turn. Devin, I think, can draw a card. The three of hearts. The last card of the season. Someone new arrives, or two of the community's younger members get into a fight. We're going to say that uh, Petrie is a younger guy, and uh, the whole purple glowing of the volcano has kind of <laughs> set him off a bit, and he is uh, starting to get really antsy, especially with, you know, talk about the whispers affecting his brain and starting to alter and, and addle him a little bit. And so uh, there's a full-on fight between him and some of the people he's with in the mines who have just about finished getting this mine done and uh, they're ready to start digging into that gold. And he's like, no, we're, we're leaving. We got to go. And I'm like, we, just, we just got here. So there's a huge fisticuffs battle on the scaffolding, which uh, is, is not great. And uh, one of them goes sailing off the edge Ooh, down into the chasm. He couldn't fly, you fool. <laughs> and then the digging for gold finishes up and they have some nice scaffolding and uh, begin the mining operation. Now, the glow of the, the, the violet glow of the volcano is setting them a bit on ease. Uh, so they... Um, they get a big tarp up and they block the entrances to the mines. They don't have to see it. <laughs> if I can't see it, it's not there. But they are increasingly getting more and more fervous with every passing day. And some of the community are beginning to get a little worried about these... Uh, What's going on in the chasm? <laughs> cra these crazy prospectors. Oh, yep. You're living up to the stereotype. Prospector Pete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're a parent, you know that. <laughs> uh, oh, Petra's now. plan should have gone down to one week as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, oh, your project, so, you can draw your mining there is, operation. There is a project that is going to be started, not by Petrie and the gold digging crazies, but by everybody else mm -hmm. which is uh or we'll say it's maybe a, a couple of people who are maybe a little little a little sick of, of of all this nonsense and it's uh it's 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 called um project bury the chasm i'm oh, just gonna boy. fill the <laughs> they are going to uh basically just start rock slides up and down the side the edges of the chasm to careen down and cover up everything down there including the artifact and the gold mine hmm. yeah, oh. but i'm only going to put one week on that because i feel like once you start <laughs> yeah it's it's kind of obvious what's happening kind of tipped off actually you know what you know what i'll say i'll give it i'll make it two weeks one week for setup and, the and then slide one for execution down. one for execution I, th I think it might take a little bit longer than than just one week to okay. get all of get everything set up for that. In secret as well. That's kind of the. Mm -hmm. This is Virgil's opinion of that. All right. Uh, and with that, we're done that season. So I will set up. Summer has arrived. Our first season is done and we have shelter and a bridge and crazy people and <laughs> factions everything, emerging. Everything you need for a society. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a group of survivors though, doesn't it? It really does. Shelters, bridge, crazy people. Mm. All right. Uh, Devin just went, so I guess it's my turn. I draw the eight of diamonds. I guess I should, I should probably look at the diamonds now, huh? 
Ace of Diamonds says, someone tries to take control of the community by force. Do they succeed? Why do they do this? Or a headstrong community uh, member decides to put one of their ideas into motion, start a foolish project. Well, I got to start a foolish project. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think one of the uh, one of the uh, team Cobra uh, oh. realizes they have an untapped resource in the area, being the volcano, and they want to direct a lava flow into the Joe's camp. Oh wow! They have no foolish. idea how to do this. So I'm going to make this a nice four week project of them figuring out how to channel lava into their enemies camps rather than, you know, doing stuff that helps the community. That's not very magman in this unanimous of them. So Mag this is going to be called the Vulcan initiative. <laughs> Now it is going to be Joe's versus the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, all right. Uh, now we will count down some counters. Uh, so Barry the Chasm goes down to one week and Petra's plan completes. Mm. How does that pan out? So Petra manages to convince um, some of the more uh, gullible young Pete's with her charm and charisma to you know explore this this bunker and you know she sort of wins them over with her promised affection and and all of that uh and so crossing the bridge um getting past the cobra guards um and sneaking to the bunker they managed to uh they get into the bunker um it turns out that it wasn't all that well sealed up um, and there is a really odd stench in there and they get into the sort of the main room uh, but they find that doors to a lower level um, are all sealed off and the main floor of the bunker is full of skeletons Ooh, spoopy. and they all run out screaming <laughs> leaving Petra to run after them that they all mm. run away and she's like seriously and then she has to run back after them yeah so there's skeletons in the bunker not a closet but you know mm. yeah All right. Um, oh, hey, it's still my turn. That was just the project's complete. Oh, I get to do something now. Hmm. Something. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to make a discovery. Yeah. I think. I think that. In amongst uh, Petrie's uh, rafts on the beach, as much as they are held together with uh, uh, spit and twine and good luck, um, <laughs> someone is is down there doing some maintenance on them or something, and they spot something out in the water. Um, it looks like it is. Uh, a ship or uh, some sort of, of metal object out Ooh. sort of in the shallow water deep enough that it's that it's completely submerged even at low tide but shallow enough they feel that it could be uh, um, explored at some point so I'm gonna put a mystery object out here a big old question mark right here. Burp. There is something out here in the shallows. There must be something in the water. And that's my turn. Craig can draw. How drunk, card? I get the nine. Well, diamonds. A project fails. Which one? Why? 
or if something goes foul and supplies are ruined out of new scarcity uh, <clears throat> the uh, <laughs> the bury the chasm project uh -oh. is, is gonna fail S sort of in that uh, the chasm isn't fully buried but what ends up happening is that the whole section of land um, near the chasm <laughs> drops a foot <laughs> gets uh, like fully collapsed in so there's this whole big gaping hole oh Chasm yeah. expansion project. That is, yes, exactly. And <laughs> little uh, cracks start to emanate out. Oh, that's 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 always good. Into the ground. So just near. Yes, the guys playing with lava, perfectly fine. But the ones who are playing with rocks, they are the ones who cause the real issue. Well, they started early, so you know they. Uh, mm. Yeah. This is now, this is a hole. But yeah. did they get, did they get the miners? Uh, or was it like a complete botch? They didn't get the, they didn't get the miners because it didn't go like down and in. It was more just like, Whoa! that's what I figured. They it was like more dropped of a, down yeah. underneath them. It was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got themselves was like, uh, you know, like the wild coyote, like the cliff drops up yep. and looks down like, they didn't count on the fact that all the mining had destabilized. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they all yelled, for Pete's sake, as they dropped. A little sign that says, oh no. Oh no. All right. Uh, that was your card. That was my card. Uh, countdown projects. Vulcan initiative goes down to three weeks. And now you can take an action. I'm going to start a new project. Why did it keep doing this on me? This doesn't make me person this. My real Tony's being difficult. Crank it. Uh, new project of bunker excavation or cleaning out. Uh, figuring out the mystery of the skeletons um, and uh, trying to open doors to lower levels. So. This is a somewhat extensive, we'll say like a three week project, but the, the news of skeletons, the rumor starts spreading around that there's skeletal remains and, and the mystery proved to be too enticing for uh, the less cautious Pete's who decide, hmm, we need, we're bored. Let's go, let's go adventure. Let's go see what's in there. Yeah. All right. Bunker Busters. All right. That's your new project. Then Devin can draw a card. Let's draw. The Queen of Diamonds. A project finishes early. Which one and why? If there are no projects underway, boredom leads to a core. Okay, well, there are projects. So I guess... The Vulc I'm going to go with the Vulcan initiative. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It finishes it early. Prospered? No. No, I, it did not. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, I've got ideas why I may have failed. Or why I may have <laughs> they dug too deep and too <laughs> greedily. I guess I better make it purple. You know what they found down there. <laughs> All right. The so. Deep. Uh, yeah, there are, it ends with screams, oh, no return, and, uh, yeah, purple lava. Oh, dang. I can just do one of these. <laughs> okay. They, uh, as they were rerouting, they ended up being a little, little off, and they opened directly into... The lava flow as it's seared past them like a geyser of hot metal. I was once a man. <laughs> All right. 
Vulcan Initiative, a screaming success, I hear. <laughs> All right. All right, that was your card. Yep. So now we move the bunker busting down to two. Now then. This jungle's got its own lava lamp. Pull the discovery. <laughs> Though the chasm failed to be buried and the mines continued, there was a mild effort from the rest of the survivors to dig through the refuse and try to find anyone who may have made it out of the unplanned collapse. As they mm. do so, emanating from below down in the chasm are the horrified screams of dying men. The sorts of sounds that you could never imagine a human making. They echo for approximately 30 seconds and then all is silent. One of the emergency rescuers a little bit braver than most. We'll call him Pete the Brave. Inches to the edge of the chasm and stares down to be met with the hollow eyes of a creature that is no longer living and yet has not succumbed to death. For you see, the artifact below, deep buried in the chasm, was a phylactery. Oh, dang. The death and destruction has reawakened its power and fed souls into it. And now, a great lich has arisen and aims to reclaim his army in the bunker. Hot diggity. Well. That's my, that's my turn. <laughs> Man, I'll be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're on that one. Uh... I'll uh, I'll get working on, on a nice draw, <laughs> drawing. All right. Uh, while you are drawing, I will draw a card. I get the cheery old two of diamonds. Two of diamonds says, "Someone new arrives. Who? Why are they in distress? Or someone leaves the community? Pete? Who? What are they looking <laughs> get for? Get out of here, Petey." <laughs> Petri, uh, Petri, sorry. Someone new <laughs> arrives. Who? Why are they in distress? Um. I mean. <laughs> give me the lich. You know, the purple volcano. I mean, <laughs> the world ended. I mean, what? <laughs> we are going to have an issue with the Joes because we kind of ruined their camp and now they are <laughs> massing around the bridge mm. with a new lich. So the Joes are coming. Um, actually, the Joes. they are actually going to mass near the bunker Oh, because they treat the bunker as a holy site. It is anyway. sacred to them, yes. So... Uh, oops. Oh, funny. Why are you so? Why are you so wrong with me sometimes? I wonder if Dinar thinks the volcano is magic or not. area oh yeah shaping up here um. we discover america or something there oh it's the joes right yeah yeah the joes are coming to the bunker um all right gee i wonder why 
<laughs> I think we need a project. Uh, hopefully, yeah. they don't, hopefully they don't get a GI infection. What makes you say that? <laughs> There's a lot happening. Um, <laughs> just, boy. Just, just, I don't know that we can do it. Mm. The people with the expertise in redirecting lava flows unfortunately died to lava flows. <laughs> so, because <laughs> um, I'd love to just dump a volcano onto that lich. But next best thing is to go swimming and hope to hell that there's something good in that sunken. Ooh. What what's it out there? Mm. So. Uh, Swim out to the what's it? Sunken, what's it? Um, I'll give that two weeks. We're just figuring out what it is, where it is, and and if if there's anything useful there. All right, that is my turn. Craig is up. Dope. A three. Three of diamonds. The three of diamonds says, Summer is a time for production and tending to the earth. Start a project related to food production. Nah. Or summer is a time for conquest and the gathering of might. Start a project related to military readiness and conquest. Well, I think we've already got the military presence going on. So food probably, probably not a bad idea. There's a lot going on. And in the midst of this, people are like, you know what? We, uh, we need some food. And uh, not willing to trust the land at the moment with, you know, a bunker of dead people, a lich, a purple volcano. Uh, we're going to start a fishing project down here. <laughs> I'd rather be fishing. All, all this going on and I'm just trying to fish. <laughs> so... This will be a short one, though. It'll be uh, a couple of Pete's go fishing to, to get some food because they realize that food's getting scarce and they're more willing to trust the water than the land at this point. Um, I mean, fair. So that was the card. Uh, bunker goes down to one, right? That's what happens next. Yep. Uh, your second what's it goes down to one. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, a new project that you placed based on your card does not decrease this. No, turn. I figured that much. Yeah, I brained it. Uh, discover something new. Hold the discussion. Start a project. Um, I mean, a discussion takes place. Um, I'll pose the question so that this will be for the two of you to answer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Peter with P-E-T-R only one E Peter with one R <laughs> or one e, um, posts the question what should we do about uh, this lich um, we need to find a way to um, make him not here anymore what do we so how do we take care of lich Oh boy, that is it. A... Um, lava. I mean, lava worked before. <laughs> we could try and do an end run around him and get his phylactery now that he's not paying attention to it, and maybe chuck it in the volcano. That'll. I mean, if you want to do the sensible thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Throw it into the fire. It's my, oh, yeah. uh, my Sounds like <laughs> no, those are the <laughs> the two proposals are Th throwing, throwing a phylactery, phylactery into throwing the, a phylactery the in, into the magical glowing lava. I'm sure is a perfectly, perfectly yeah, no, it'll work out just fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
or divert so some magical glowing purple lava onto the lich. On, yeah. Also, well, we're which fine. which would basically be diverting it onto the bunker since that's that's where he went. So yeah, that's he's, where everyone's going. He's absolutely not raising an army of the dead in there. Not at all. Those are just you know totally mm -hmm. uh, inconspicuous skeletons. Now he's making that. Uh, he's making that. Uh, that church with all the bone furniture that they used to do oh, the Dungeons and Dragons movie. The bone mm -hmm. church, yeah. yeah. In Europe, yeah. All right, that was Craig's discussion. So Devin can draw a card. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the end of it for me. The pen of diamonds. You discover a cache of supplies or resources, or a scarcity has gone unaddressed for too long and start a project that will alleviate that scarcity. Uh, it's pronounced cage. <laughs> For Pete's cage, come on. Let's see. A cache of supplies or resources. Or cache. need to alleviate cache. a scarcity. So we get to add a new abundance or alleviate our scarcity. Uh well, I mean we got other problems. Uh <laughs> <laughs> An abundance of magic could be a useful thing, however. Though. It would be. I'm just not. Let's see. Just uh, that out there. No, it doesn't become an abundance. So yeah, either add an abundance or remove a scarcity. It, it alleviates the scarcity, oh. so it yeah. would become it would become. Oh, I see. I see. As as available as normal. Yeah. I mean, it's a lich to deal with. <laughs> you know, I mean, magic not a bad idea, I, but. Yeah. Uh, but a new abundance could also become useful. If it's an abundance of something interesting, like bazookas, holy water, yeah, <laughs> paladins. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, <laughs> a ship full of paladins just shows up. <laughs> what ho! We've been seeking some evil to smite. We are from the, the holy order of Saint Peter. <laughs> <laughs> We felt cold I... for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> I think that Fishy Pete oh, yes, Fishy Pete. reels in a biggin, but it turns out to just be an old boot filled with holy water. And uh, we now have an abundance of holy water. Good job, Pete. That one, not the other one. Holy water abundance. Oh, South Falde from the great Let's Joe Peterson. <laughs> Joseph oh, of Pe Joseph of Petersburg. <laughs> <laughs> He's got both our names. Oh, we hate him. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm going to start a project which is kill Lich. That completes that completes <laughs> Pete's project. Oh, yeah, yeah, that we... does. It completes a bunch of projects. We got the sunken what's at Fishy Pete and the bunker busting all complete at the same time. This is true. Dang. All right. So Fishy Pete is done. Are they going to continue fishing or what's the. Uh... Okay. Well, his project was to get fish. Does he still get fish or does he just get the boot? I guess that's the question. Because mm. he was trying to get food. So I'd say he gets he gets some fish. Not as much I mean, as you, they were hoping for, but I mean, you you can drink holy water. I mean, it's true. It's not bad for us. So, All right, you want to draw some fishies? Uh, yeah, I will draw some fish. Uh, you're you were bunker busting as well, weren't you? <laughs> it was bunker busting. All right, so I will uh, explore the sunken what's it. I will finish that while you're drawing your fishies. Um, what? was the what's it that's a great question It's no longer a question mark it is now it was a sunken ship it is um it looks actually like it looks like a submarine that has run aground on uh, a sandbar out there so it looks like it is watertight there may be things to be had within and it looks like it is uh of gnomish construction to some Pete's chagrin and other Pete's delight. <laughs> I 
Got my boot of holy water there. And some fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then um, and bunker then busting. The bunker busting. Well, so the, the project was originally to figure the mystery of the skeletons, which I think has become obvious as the Lich approached and they all started, you know, <laughs> rising up, uh, you know, from the ground. Uh, and, uh, yeah, not, not too friendly. Um, but, uh, with the help of some, some Cobra commandos, um, who were on their way to fend off the Joes, managed to clear enough of the skeletons that were in there um, and managed to open the door to the lower level. Um, but upon opening it, they found uh, a deep staircase. And from the bottom of the staircase, they heard nothing. But like a magical nothing, like an oppressive silence. They feel like we should hear something, and then like anybody who stepped into the stairwell was like, and they realized that there's a magical silence and a magical darkness in the basement of the bunker. Yeah. exciting and spooky also half of them ran away when the lich showed up and then the lich ran downstairs into the basement he's been cooking something up the whole yeah. time yeah anybody that tunes in randomly and sees this map sorry <laughs> don't ask yeah. us to explain it <laughs> <laughs> kind of got to follow it as it grows. Otherwise, it's uh, it's a whole mess. <laughs> this is like one of those pictures like kindergarten kid draws. And it's like, oh, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Would, mm -hmm. Do you mind? Uh, why don't you tell me about it? <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. That was project completion. Did Devin? Yes. So a starting nice. project called Sm uh, Smite the Lich. Ah, very good. Uh, they're going to go with the idea of getting the phylactery and then chucking it into the volcano because that seems like the most sensible idea. I'm going to give that a two-week operation, one week to scale down, get down to the bottom, find the thing, grab it, and then attempt to kill each other over it for a good deal of time until they finally manage to, through the pure heartedness of one particular tiny individual, carry it to the volcano and throw it in. <laughs> we'll see how this plan goes. <laughs> Possibly inside a boot full of holy water. We'll see how that pans out. <laughs> I, I feel like that's what they're, they're taking the boot of holy water down there to uh, put the thing in mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. order to prevent it from corrupting them all. And the boot has been nicknamed Pete's Feet. That's just that's just smart. That's good marketing right there. All right. I've drawn another ace. The ace of diamonds says... A contingent within the community demand to be heard. Who are they? What are they asking for? Or a contingent within the community have acted on their frustrations. What have they damaged and why did they damage it? Is it permanent? Um, I think the, the uh, Cobras... think the community is not taking the Joe threat seriously. <laughs> Bunch of Joe schmoes. Uh, They're like, these guys. And Yo, the, mama. Um, That's their leader. <laughs> Tomala. <laughs> their matriarch. <laughs> they take control of the bridge and threaten to uh, to destroy it. Ooh. So that's what happens on that card. The Cobras are now controlling access to the bridge on both sides. And I wonder if I can copy Cobra over. Copy over here. 
Where did it fit? Oh, it's a flying cobra. Run. Okay. Cobra's on both sides of the bridge now. All right, uh, that was my card. Smite the Lich project goes down by one. And I think we need to start a project. We got 99 problems and a lich is one. Hmm. Well, you know, they're taking care of the lich. The cobras are a little, uh, they're getting possessive. Taking care of lichness is good. Yeah. I think, I think, I think, I think someone is going to, there is one of the peats We'll call him Piotr. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he, his grandfather was a little bit of a soothsayer. And so he is going to try to suss out the magical properties of the purple lava. Ooh. Mm. And see if that can be harnessed in some way. So he's going to, that feels like something we are not well equipped to handle. I'm going to give that a nice solid four weeks. Mm, yeah, and magic it, scarcity, that kind of thing makes makes sense. Yeah, me. with scarce magic and very few tools of that nature. And this is determine the nature of the magic lava. Since the uh, Joe camp is no longer a threat, we can parade around that side of the mm -hmm. of the chasm other than you know the cobras taking control of the bridge other than that perfectly safe over there all right craig draw the last card of summer the last card i don't want summer to end yet well things the move six. fast after that. the six of diamonds Outsiders arrive in the area. Why are they a threat? How are they vulnerable? Or outsiders arrive in the area. How many? How are they greeted? More outsiders? Dang. Uh, what if they're like outsiders as in like outsiders like a, as in from like the group of get the Yankee arrive? Yeah. From the outer planes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to say... The outsiders that arrive, um, they are, uh, they're the tribe of Carl. Oh, we've got Carls now. Get in the and house. And the Carls are coming from the north. Yeah, we've got big white space up there. And, uh, the Carls, they, uh, how are they welcomed? Is that what it was? How many, how are they greeted? How many? Uh, there are precisely nine Carls. And the nine Carls uh, they are greeted um, with open arms because their leader's middle name is Pete. Mm. Uh, and uh, He's a salesman. He's a uh, Carl Pete salesman. Salesman, um, and he has lots of uh, goodies and trinkets to sell. Or and uh, they seem to be of a magical nature. Well, that's convenient. So they're so they're welcomed. Almost too openly, like. Hmm. We're we're super eager so eager that they're like you've got magical trinkets uh i mean we can trust a carl we can trust a carl pete salesman right i mean he's not gonna steer us wrong so 
Yeah, totally. He's not reading the room. I'm gonna give them a wizard hat. The nine Carl have arrived. Beautiful. Their leader. Right. Their leader's title is also Jarl. Mm, Jarl Carl. Led, led, by, led by Jarl. Jarl, Jarl Carl. Yeah. Jarl Carl Peak is his name. Mm. He's Carl he's the K. Carl. Yeah. 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 Name's Pete. His last name happens to be Joseph. It's strange. Mm. All right, uh, lava flow project decreases to three. Smite the lich completes. This is a big one. All righty. Descending down the chasm proves to be quite difficult. It would appear that uh, the rock slides and the previous plans to, uh, you know, collapse the chasm made things a little bit more difficult, but. They do manage to get down to the gold mine at the very least, because that at least was designed to be gone in and out, where they discover a horde of risen dead. Oh, of course. Mm. Um, from the miners, this proves to be quite the problem. Uh, many of them are felled in this, and they use a vast majority of the holy water to remove them. When they finally make it down to the bottom, they only have just the tiniest amount left. There is arguments and immediate dissent over who is going to be the one to carry the phylactery as its corrupt and grip begins to sow its way into their minds. But one of them manages to scoop it up and no sooner than it falls into the toe of the boot, which still contains some last little vestige of the holy water, then everyone feels somewhat at ease. They have to hold the boot sideways to make sure that the water all stays and <laughs> remains fully submerged. <laughs> and so they have to now figure out a way to ascend back up the chasm while holding the boot in this particular way. <laughs> This proves to be quite difficult, but they do manage. They spill some of the holy water. And by the time they reach the top, they can feel its insidiousness beginning to infect their minds. They trek their way into the volcano, and they find the original trail left behind by a Project Vulcan. Following that, they begin to see the purple glow of the magic lava, and of course, those researching it are there as well. This does not go well. The corrupting influence causes some issue, but in the end, the boot and everything in it gets thrown into the fire. There is a bright flash, a horrific scream that echoes from deep beneath the bunker, and the lava glows with a sickly greenish hue Ew. as this sort of noxious sulfurous smoke begins to billow off of the purple lava and while the phylactery has indeed definitely been destroyed it's possible that the magical essence left behind by its destruction has done something to the magic lava which will likely be discovered in approximately three weeks. <laughs> Boy, that seems like a lot for a single project. All right. I mean, it's a pretty epic project, though, right? Like, So the lich was destroyed, though, in the process? That Yeah, uh, well, he screamed and seems to be gone, and all the zombies and undead are, are now removed. It's, at least his corporeal form has disappeared for now? Yes. All right. And he's never, ever coming back. No never, sir. ever, ever. All right. Is that project finished? <laughs> All right. Craig has a turn then. I guess uh, I the Lava project goes down to two weeks. Yeah. So, uh, discover some new whole discussion, start a project. Uh, well, we'll add a new project because with the death of the undead, um, the removal of that undead threat. Um, and the lich kind of going, Wah! 
the magical darkness and silence seems to uh, fade from the bunker. And so project uh, downstairs begins. And Call it. Bent and determined to get into that bunker. Tell downstairs. This is going to be a quick project. They just have to go down some stairs and see what's yeah. down there. It's not. He was down there and determine what to do next once they once they find out. What's and down. determine what to do and then get down there. Um, with the uh, the lich gone, um, the 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 Joes actually seem uh, ready to help and aid because they uh, they still believe this place is sacred, but then the lich seem to be uh, you know um, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, making something uh, not holy. Corrupting, Corrupt, corrupting. Corrupting, yeah. They were corrupting it, and so with the removal of the lich, they were like, hooray, you've, you know, you've uh, cleansed this place for us, so we will aid you in going down. You know, we've never actually been in here. Um, we're not really sure why it's sacred. It just was passed down to us, so let's mm. find out what's in it. So they joined the Ain't expedition. That the way. They joined the expedition, and Joes are now... Uh, They've, they've become friends with the bunker bunker busters. Cool. All right, and that is the end of summer. Two seasons down. Seems like a good time for a break. That does seem like a good time for a break. Why don't we take five and we'll uh, resume with autumn and winter. Sounds good. That was a heck of a season finale. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, right? Uh, catch you in, uh, in the fall in the CW for continuation of... <laughs> Uh, of whatever the heck this is. Whatever this is, yeah. So we will be <laughs> we'll be back. Hang tight.
I've lost track whose turn it is because I pulled all the cards away. Uh, I pulled the last card of the season. All right, then Devin can be up. I finished. Hooray! I finished the summer, so. All right, let's do it. It's Devin's fall. It's time for autumn. Two of clubs. Someone returns to the community, or you find a body. Don't uh -oh. recognize who it is. <laughs> what happened? Not Pete. <laughs> Oh no, it's Pete! <laughs> I'm still alive. No, not you. <laughs> uh, huh. I mean, hmm. 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 Find a body. Or someone returns to the community. One of the folk that had gone on the Smite the Lich project returns. Not quite themselves. They're a little, a little off, a little twitchy. Mm, a little they twitchy. Yes, mm. their their veins are popping out a little bit. There's a bit of a purplish tinge to them, but they seem okay. Probably just trauma. Hmm. Yep, that magical lich caused trauma. Mm, to get the lich itch. Yeah. The, yeah, Nothing got the lich, to worry got the, about. The itchy, the itchy lich. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. With the purple man here. Purple man. 
All right, let's decrement some projects while you draw. So determine the nature of the magic lava goes down to one more week. And the basement trip, how does that resolve? The basement trip uh, resolves with them reaching the basement. What? Uh, and inside the basement, uh, they find the source of the stank, which uh, is stank. the uh, the barrels and the crates, um, which all seem to have uh, expired foodstuffs and other nasty things uh, inside. Uh, and those who go down into the bunker, they all get sick from parasites and other things that were living in the perhaps years, perhaps decades old rotted food. Uh, and the bunker busters and their Joe friends turn into strange mutated monsters. Who now they live? The secret of the use is that what you're trying to tell me? They, yes, and they have now <laughs> claimed the bunker as their their only. Sealed it up. Um, they uh, they sealed the door, and uh, they have claimed it as their own. And the the uh, the Pete's hear lots of sounds from inside the bunker now, like sounds of building and other stuff going on. All right, it's now a jail bunker. Got yeah. It. Mm -hmm. all right uh devon what's your action right well now that the the big big fuss is over we can get back to business yeah that's it right and everything's smooth sailing from here on out. problem solved like uh reclaiming the gold mine <laughs> <laughs> but of course, thank you, Petrie. It should only take about uh, about two weeks, I think. I'm just gonna show my dog because he's being really cute. Hello, puppy. He's got his paws up. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's a good boy. All right. Reclaim the gold mine project has begun. I will draw the seven of clubs, which is a project just isn't working out as expected. Radically change the nature of this project. Don't modify the project die. This when it resolves, you'll be responsible for telling the community how it went. Oh, man. Or Ooh. something That's goes foul and supplies are ruined. Add a new scarcity. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a pretty big project that could go wrong in some pretty interesting ways, let's just say. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, you could go all kinds of different directions with this. This is very true. <laughs> I'm going to take over reclaiming the gold mine. Oh, I was hoping and it is going else. to, uh, let's see. Radically change the nature of this project. Um, it is going to go from reclaiming the gold mine to um, finish excavating the layer. Oh. Finish excavating Lich's Lair. That's a bit of a different different path for sure. Different tack. We're no longer concerned about the, the, the mere metal around here. No, no. While they were mining the gold, they realized the gold was around a structure down here, and they are going to get into that thing. Like that gold is for fools, you could say. Hmm. Distraction for the weak-minded. So that was my card. Pizza with ADHD. Uh, I will then put that project down one week. And the nature of HP. the magic lava is revealed. It's Kool-Aid. 
<laughs> Fooled. Um, so a couple of things. Uh, the lava, the reason it's purple, first of all, uh, the lava it does not originate from this plane of existence. It is, in fact, yeah. astral lava. It is coming from somewhere else. Astral lava. Note. I'm taking note. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this it's is phlogiston? <laughs> it's something. <laughs> um, dumping the phylactery into it was oh, bad. Oh, oh. Mm. It has changed. And I'm just going to just draw a little thing here. And it's going to be in that blue color and i'm gonna just draw a little crown on top of the volcano oh no signify that um there is a good chance that and mind you this guy is an amateur still but in this amateur's uh opinion if we don't do something about this the lich is going to take over the volcano and he will become the volcano. A primordial. Damn. And that could be poor for our little community. I mean, <laughs> could be. I guess. Small problem. Could be. Uh, that was my project completing. So now we get to do something. Uh... Petrie and the boys. So Petrie was definitely more about uh, the gold. And he seems to have been usurped from his, his gold hunting and is now looking more to just take his gains and get the hell out. <laughs> Petrie just can't catch a break. <laughs> so he is going back to the beach. He's got enough loot, he feels, which is probably why the nature of the project changed once Petrie left and people uh, realized what was down there other than the gold. Okay. okay. Uh, so Petrie is going, but knowing that the rafts are kind of garbage, <coughs> Petrie is now interested in this submersible. Mm. So Petrie explores the submarine. And he's going to try and get in there and possibly get that. Well, he's going to take a look and see what, what can be done with it. He's going to take two weeks to explore the submarine and figure out what's going on. Maybe even haul, actually, maybe not just explore. I'm going to haul the submarine to shore. Well, that's a, that's a big, because, big project. And I'm going to put that up to four weeks because... We can't work. We don't have the equipment to Petri open open it or get I'm into sure. it uh, while it is still submerged. So the only logical thing to do is to haul it to shore and then open it. Hmm. So that's the plan. Hmm. Yes, open it where it's closer to the village. Makes sense. Totally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's my turn. So that falls to me then, I suppose. It does. To draw a card. I will draw it. I got the king. I am the king. Clubs. <laughs> a natural <laughs> disaster strikes the area. Oh, boy. Choose one. You focus on getting everyone to safety, remove an abundance, and a project fails. You focus on protecting your supplies and hard work at any cost. Several people die as a result. Ooh, ooh, mm. Tough choice here. Tough choice. Focus on getting everyone to safety, remove an abundance, and a project fails. So we lose. Well, we don't really have an abundance of holy water anymore, I guess. That got used up, didn't it? So the only abundance we really have is the peat. You lose the peat, and then one of the projects fails, or we protect our, protect our supplies and several people die. Presumably, if the peat is gone, that would mean the jungle is also gone. Like something would happen to the jungle. Something would, yeah. Because mm. what natural disaster are you thinking? We got... Uh... 
earthquake uh, or storm or tidal wave. I'm think I was actually yeah I was kind of thinking in in terms of like tidal wave, tsunami, hurricane sort of thing, Hurricane Pete. Hmm. So if you went that way, you could that might just take the sub out to sea. It might just be gone after the storm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yeah. So massive hurricane hits and uh a tidal wave comes in um but creates a big uh pull back to you right like it, it sucks a bunch of stuff out so um it uh it's gonna take away some of the huts and uh -huh. So the peat hauling the uh, submarine to shore was going to fail because Pete's... Well, I guess he didn't die because we're not going that route, but the submarine just like... Meow, goes away. The raft goes away. Uh, the fish leave. Or they're destroyed. A couple of the huts are destroyed. So the beachfront is just like... Like just toast. Yeah. Everything, everything on the beachfront... Up to some of the huts is just like totally washed out and destructed, destroyed. Actually, Petrie managed to get into the sub, oh, hoping hoping to use it for shelter. And he's like, "Oh, the storm is coming." He didn't have anywhere to go, so he got in the sub, and then now he's lost at sea in the sub. He's just out there somewhere. Nobody knows he's out there, and he renamed it Petrie's Dish. Oh, of course. All right. That was a hell of a card. That <laughs> was, yeah, like, <laughs> dang. <laughs> I'm not playing around, man. Um, Discover something new, hold a discussion, start a project. Well, now we only have one project, so we got to start a project in here. We need oh, project. Well. We need also to right, project resolve. dice first. Yes. yes. So that's going to actually finish the excavation. Excavation. That's great. Um, so good news uh, for the formation of our primordial Lich Kano. Um, <laughs> we've excavated the Lich's lair. We've got access to all of his magic goodies. I'm going to remove the scarcity of magic. Lich Kano. Uh, so we have a hope of combating the Lich now that we have access to his personal notes and writings and all of his, all of his goodies. How to kill me, his yes. journal, part one. <laughs> we, we know how he works now is basically what it boils down That's to. That's right, fun. yeah. I will mm -hmm. draw that, and now you can do your action. All right. So the project is going to be um, this is going to be project um I don't know, I can't think of anything creative. So, uh, the project, let's go bye bye. <laughs> um, the project begins to not let the lich become the volcano and vice versa. Uh, and the, uh, the magic, magical Carls are going to get involved in this project. So they're going to come and help out. Uh, and combined with their magical doodads and their Jarl, Carl, Pete, Joseph, um, and the items found from the Lich's cave, his lair, they will attempt to make the Lich go bye bye. This is this is a big project. I'm thinking this is like a five week. I don't. I also want to go full six, but I say no. I'll say we'll go to five because this is this is like uh -huh. this is a big deal, right? It's like. How do we fight a volcano that's possibly also a lich with astral lava and uh, 
Yeah. Yes, it, it's cool. definitely a non-trivial task. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like we have some tools. It should be incredibly great, easy, but barely inconvenience. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's my project started. So that's uh, that's that's my toying. Awesome. So Devin can draw. Draw. Oh, what are you doing? See? The jack of clubs. A project finishes early, or if there are no. Okay, so uh, project Lich go bye bye <laughs> is the only project we have right now. Yeah. What did you draw the jack? Yeah, it finishes early. Oh my gosh. Uh Damn. Okay. <laughs> uh Well, that <laughs> that 5 week project just like I said, barely inconvenience. <laughs> Thanks, movie pitch guy. Yeah. Uh Huh. I mean the I guess the guy had a trinket called the lich bomb <laughs> that they threw in the volcano <laughs> and it blew up okay um we're gonna say i'm gonna get a little more i'm gonna get a little more interesting with this it just so happened that when they started this project it there was a certain astrological event that was going on and during this astrological event there is astrological a, astrolabical there are various <laughs> thinnings of the veils between planes and this thinning of the veils between planes had a little bit of a dilution of the glue that holds the various aspects of the world together Virgil proves ended up amplifying the efforts and stripping apart the various pieces of the astral lava into three different parts the lava the astral energy and the lich's essence and so now what you have are these sort of rivers of red lava this sort of purple stream of like energy and then this sort of noxious green gas all billowing separately now from the volcano un untouching one another but still in existence the Lich can no longer become a volcano. Of course, he's technically still around, but he's in a weird, he's, gaseous form. He's one of them seven-year Liches. All right. So I will get rid of the crown <laughs> off the volcano then. <laughs> Sorry, Devin. <laughs> All right. Quiet your part seven will resolve the lich. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> that. All right. That, wow. Good card. Okay. Talk about a um, twist, man. We need some red lava. That's like a soap opera twist in the story right there. <laughs> I will draw some red lava. Um, if you want to get along with your just, action, just destroy now. Nice. All right, so there's no projects currently underway, so we should probably get a project going. Um, I mean, things are starting to quiet down a fair bit. Uh, perhaps we should investigate the purple guy. Yeah, he seems to be the only uh, remnant of the lich left at this point. Yeah, they uh, perhaps by utilizing the same technique that they had uh, back at the volcano, they can separate whatever is polluting his body. I have an idea that just might work. There we go. Now we got separate streams of green, purple, and orange. Oh, don't cross so the streams. We'll, we'll say uh, we'll meet you halfway. We'll say that it would have been a five-week process normally. So we'll say this is only going to be a two-week process because they, they, they know what to do now. Mm -hmm. While they may not have the astrological signs this time, they, they understand the basic process mm -hmm, and they mm -hmm. can take care of it much easier now. So two-week process. Okay, I suppose that's two, fair. two and a half, but I'm rounding it down. Sure, yeah, two point two three, five eight. Yeah. All right. Nine of clubs says 
The community works constantly and as a result finishes a project early. Or <laughs> a group goes out to explore the map more thoroughly and find something that had been previously overlooked. You gotta go with that one. We can't have this other project finish yeah, too early no. again. <laughs> um <laughs> same guy with his trinket be like, oh look, I did it again. <laughs> So, to the north, in the mm. land of the Jarl of Carls, mm -hmm. we find a snarl. Carl. Oh no, not a snarl. <laughs> um, We're such nerds. We begin to understand where the... Uh, interplanar entanglement of the volcano may have come from. As there is a planar gate to the north. Mm -hmm. Snarl like an oots snarl. Mm. From Order of the Stick. <laughs> oh, jeez. The snarl. So there is a planar gate. Man, we're putting our nerddom like on full display right now. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. In case, you know. Just making the shirt. Yeah, right really. Here, right, nerds want to have fun. Like... Nerds gonna nerd. Here we go. One planar gate to the north. Nice planar gate. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, that is right. very holy raisin, but <laughs> we'll bring a gate. That was my thing. card. Now project dice on purple goes down to one. And by God, we need more projects. So I'm going to. Um, I mean, we got to go look at the planar gate because. Let's see if. So we know it's, there's a planar gate up there. We are going to. Uh, explore the idea of the using it as an escape from the end of the world. Oh. So this is uh, okay. attempts travel through the gate. Um, I'm going to put this at three weeks because it's going to be more than just attempting to go through it. It's like, See what the environment is like on the other side. Is Trek it viable? To get there too, like all that stuff, right? yeah. yeah. Can you get like start by putting objects through? Can we get them back? That sort of, you know, there's going to be a lot of. And again, we still don't have a ton of magic. We got more magic stuff now, but we still don't, we're not abundant with it. We're just normal with it. So mm -hmm. three weeks to attempt travel through the gate, see if it's a viable escape route. And that's my turn. Craig can draw a card. Okay. The three of clubs. Three of clubs. Someone leaves the community after issuing a dire warning. Who? What is the warning? Or someone I, issues I mean, a dire warning and the community leaps into action to avoid disaster. What is the warning? Start a contentious project that relates to it. Ooh. Well... Somebody issues a contentious warning that the purple guy, which they're trying to unpurple, uh, is actually himself um, uh, Pretorius the Great, the originator of of the, of the Peets, uh, and rather than be unpurpled. Uh, he needs to be uh, sacrificed into the volcano in order to reclaim his godhood and thus restore the balance. And so the contentious project is um, euthanize purple guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call this... Uh, We're gonna call this project uh Peter the Great. Flame broiled Peter. Purple mm -hmm. haze. 
purple haze. <laughs> uh, I also would have accepted deep purple. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm gonna give it the same completion time as purple rain. The un un purple. <laughs> the purple gay. Purple guy. So, um, because it's contentious and it's like they're both gonna resolve at the same time, and we gotta decide, you know, what will happen. It's one way to unpurple him. Murder him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he won't be purple anymore. He'd be dead. <laughs> so either way, he's going to be unpurpled. Uh -huh. um, more red than purple at that point. Be more of a per perplexing mm. situation we've got here going on. All uh, right. That was my card. And so now both of these are going to resolve at the same time. <laughs> no, a, a new one won't. Uh... Oh, that's right. Oh, shoot. That's right. Dang. So... He's gonna get unpurpled. Or so he still might he still might be sacrificed. I guess that's, that's yeah. Gonna, All right, so I'll do the easy one first. The uh, viability of gate travel goes down to two weeks. Unpurple the purple guy goes to one or goes to zero. So how does that resolve? Well, they try the same thing, but as they are getting through the process the ritual is stopped by a bunch of crazy neophytes and uh, he is only he was fighting he's only <laughs> half unpurple i know Kung Fu. <laughs> so he's more of a he's got uh, part of him is blue and part of him is red da -ba -dee -da -ba -die. and he is carried off towards the volcano by those who seek to sacrifice him so he has indeed been unpurpled, but Dang. he has now been captured. As being carried off by crazed acolytes, likely to be thrown into the volcano. The pious he's been, beats. He's been part way removed of, of the whatever it was that was <laughs> making him all twitchy and jittery. He's being carried off by the pious beats. <laughs> awesome. All right, I still get to. Uh, I still get to do a thing. Mm -hmm. I still get to do a thing. Um, I I, th I think it's uh I think it's discussion time. I think it's discussion time about whether uh, the uh, purple Pete, previously purple Pete proceeds to the precipice of the volcano <laughs> uh, or get stopped along the way. Does he get saved or does he get hazed? So I'm opening opening a discussion here. Actually, um, I'll, I'll pose that as a question so that I will not resolve it. Okay. I will throw that question... You ever notice that that uh, purple portal is the same color as the purple volcano and maybe that they're intertwined? I say we throw them in the portal. Have him as our first astronaut, huh? So um... Previously purple Pete, unpurpled into the purple portal? Preposterous. Yes. <laughs> Preposterous. Um, <laughs> pop him off the pinnacle. Um... <laughs> Has potential. Mm. We've we've been. Uh, uh, I think more time. I think is what there is. The researchers who have been in the lich's lair to say to, we don't need to rush this. He's been at least depurpled at this point. There's no celestial conjunctions to help us this time. So you're saying I we just, should pontificate? Mm, punt. That's that's the goal. Procrastinate. All right. Procrastinate. Yes. <laughs> Perpetually. Oh. Mm. Just put it off. That's Pontif all I'm saying. Pon pontificate on procrastinating <laughs> perpetually. Possibly. <laughs> all right, that's Oh, uh, what a good. performance. <laughs> yeah, a little presumptuous. Hmm. Pish posh. And, and possibly a little pithy as well, but 
Hang on, I'm a bit pegged. <laughs> All right, Devin, draw a card. Get us out of this. <laughs> Four of clubs. The strongest among you dies, or the weakest among you dies. Oh no, huh. Pete! <laughs> Strongest or the weakest? Uh, hmm. I don't even know who they would be. Obviously, it's the Cobra Commander. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> he is this uh, ah. as the weakest? Yeah, <laughs> got it. The uh, leader of the Cobra team seems to have been killed. It, there was a raid by the Jones. It seems that oh. as they fly the colors of red and blue. This new red and blue character has been seen as their savior, and they will stop at nothing to prevent him from being thrown into the volcano. And have declared outright war against the Peets and the Cobras. Mm. Those jokes. Quite the pickle. Mm. That is a bit of a predicament. Puzzling. All right, let's uh, knock down some <laughs> dice here. Uh, gate travel goes down to one week. Purple haze. Oh boy, that's zero. What's going to happen with this? Our purple, mm. previously purple Pete problem. <laughs> and do it all in peas if you could, please. <laughs> if you previously want. purple Pete <laughs> proceeds. <laughs> Precariously. <laughs> Precisely. Oh man, we're all a little punchy here. This is a. Precisely. Um, <laughs> Verily, the species swage of verbiage veers most verbose. Perpendicularly. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I could if I. Precariously thought, but... plummets. <laughs> the purple beat dies in the volcano. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say that. Um, the uh, those who who plotted the contentious plan. I guess I'm still doing it. <laughs> just cannot. <laughs> so many p words. Oh. Um, they throw him into the volcano, um, hoping that it will stem the tide of arcane anomalies. Oh crap! I'm gonna start with A's now. Hmm. Um, and. Uh, as he falls in, um, he uh, turns into to multiple colors as he falls. He just kind of like, just like rainbow uh, colors. And then he turns purple once more right before he goes and goes, Ah, oh, crap! He's invincible now. <laughs> and then uh, he, he falls in the volcano. And rather than stemming the tide of the various flows coming out of it, uh, it seems to open a second planar rift uh -oh. at the the peak that sounds promising of the volcano and uh this this gate um oh i need thicker than that This gate looks more, uh, more ominous. And it appears that there's some sort of massive entity on the other side that is peering through. And everybody down in the camp here is, I see you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was resolving that. That was resolving now. the purple haze. So Devin gets an action now. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Nobody's nobody's upping their meters. They're just red meters on that one. Okay. That's, hmm. I, I assumed I would cre create some in there. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm at four. You guys are way too like relaxed, man. I'm just having a good time. Yeah, so I said, there's got to be more contention. Uh, I'm here to stir things up. So, being as how uh, 
we sacrifice their the, the, their their new savior. Uh, the Joes are just going a full on assault. Sacrificed uh, purple Peter into the ether. Yeah, the purple Peter so ether. We need to <laughs> defend from the Joe menace. And uh, I don't know, let's see, how many of them would there be? This could drag on for quite a while. They have a bunker. I'm gonna say this is gonna be a four week endeavor. Mm. Yeah, just when you think we're at the last of them, they come out with a new line and they're just this whole <laughs> new set of them. And this time they're all neon colored. And... <laughs> Wait, there's another shadow? Can't be. They keep coming back more and more intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I have drawn the last card of Autumn and it is the Eight of Clubs. The Eight of Clubs says, someone sabotages a project and the project <laughs> fails as a result. Who did this? Why? Or oh my gosh. someone is caught trying to sabotage the efforts. That, how does the community respond? Well, I think uh, Team Cobra finds someone... A, a Joe sympathizer and Cobra does, does not brook sympathizers and he gets summarily tossed in the volcano. It has now become the, the method of execution. The Joe versus the volcano, yeah. So that's, yes, any, any it, we're starting to crack down a little bit on, on this, this whole uh, 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 Joe versus Cobra thing. It's like, no, no, you were with us first. Remember, Cobras are are, are, are of the peats. And yes, someone gets tossed in the volcano accordingly. And order is restored for now. And that brings autumn to a close, which means... Is now the winter of our discontent. Winter. So when the King of Spades is drawn, that is the end of the game. We will do one more go around the horn. If there's any uh, loose ends that you feel you want to tie up, we'll each get a sort of a, a moment to do an epilogue. But the game is afoot. Didn't Mike draw it like right away last time? Yes. Yep. <laughs> I was like, all right, here we go. Get oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's just my card. I still need to like do everything else. Hang on. Yeah, you didn't finish your. I'm turn. jumping the gun here. All right, so depend from the Joe Menace. Don't jump on weeks. Uh, oh, gate travel. The gate travel resolves. Yeah, resolves. Um, I'm gonna call this one mixed success. The show sliders is is <laughs> yeah comes back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is uh, an Stargate. environment on the other side. But it's it the is nine hells. Wholly inhospitable. <laughs> uh, it is actually, it appears to be the shattered remains of another world. Totally inhospitable. Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the shattered remains of another world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like floating chunks of rock. Sort of <laughs> Concrete. Asteroids. I was like, oh uh, man. <laughs> there's no. Um, breathable air but they sort of were able to to uh using their new magical resources were able to sustain life over there for long enough to explore around and realize that um yeah it, it's a it's a no-go this is not going to be a viable escape route but we've got this this other place to explore if we want to try and poke around there if nothing else um so it is not a, a, a way out for us, but it is still a new environment to explore. So that is my new project is Explore Beyond the Gate. Explore Buffalo. Explore <laughs> Buffalo. Um, take two weeks to do that. And now Craig can draw the first card of winter. It will not be the king. <laughs> Face card. Way too close, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Jack of Spades. Ooh. 
an infected outsider arrives seeking amnesty. They have some much needed resources with them. Choose one. Welcome them into the community, remove a scarcity, but also introduce an infection into the community. Or bar them entry. What scarcity could they have addressed? How does its need become more dire this week? Well, I think with everything that is going on, an outsider arrives that is infected. Everybody takes one look at them and goes, no. Into the volcano with them. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, yeah, no. Just. Yes, you, right this way. <laughs> you have a choice. You can either go into the volcano or through the gate to Buffalo. And he, they choose the volcano. Um, they could have addressed the gold scarcity, I guess, because they had lots of gold on them. Um, but uh, nobody's really interested in the gold right now. They leave a nice trail of gold, gold nuggets and coins up the volcano. Um, and the gold scarcity gets even worse as all the gold that, that is found that they're trying to use for, for melting and stuff like that does turn out to be actual fool's gold and is weak and diluted and not pure gold. And so it's, uh, it's crappy, crappy gold. It's worthless. It's it's Canadian, it's Canadian gold, not, not American. Alchemy so. trying to turn lead into gold. And... Yeah. So we now have fool's gold, and yet another person has jumped into the volcano. I'm uh, sure that's not going to cause any problems. No. no. And the eye goes, good, good. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> All right, let's count down our project dice. So oh. Explore Buffalo goes down to one. Defend from Joe's goes down to two. And what is your action? So... The action is, I need one more project to go in here, I think. Um, the, uh, the nine, the nine Carls led by the Jarl of Carl feel that it is time to enact their secret plot they had all along. Which is to claim the Caraldera of the volcano. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh uh, boy. Uh, and this is going to be a two week project. They rush up the volcano ready to claim it. They have their magical goods and their items. Uh, they're being summoned by the eye. Um, and uh, they run up the volcano saying, We're coming, master! Um, and they, they are going to attempt to claim the caldera, and by doing so, will uh, cause the volcano to um, erupt and overflow and spread, um, not necessarily like lava, but something? Magma. That's Magical magma? Magma? That's what they're threatening. Oh, boy. Yep. All right. Magman. Uh, Devin. So the uh, the nine the nine Carls are going on up. the move. Oh, they took gold with them. They don't need to go. That's right. gold. All right, Devin, draw a card. And, and the king there it is. Is. Well, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans. <laughs> All right, Mulligan. So, I you call Mulligans means... in this game. <laughs> yeah. You can start with the <laughs> epilogues then. What loose end do you want to tie up here? <clears throat> the sacrifices that have been thrown down to the depths of the volcano. A low rumble begins to rise as a very, some would say, cataclysmic roar bellows from within the mountain cat, oh sorry wrong cat. <laughs> the portal at the top of the mouth ripples and twists as it reveals itself 
to sort of be almost like a, a bottle opener. The story of the dragon living within the volcano is oh, yeah, the dragon. <laughs> half, half true <laughs> as most legends tend to be. It wasn't so much that it lived in the volcano so much as it seemed to live in the volcano for it actually exists in somewhere else, another place. And the portal, Buffalo, the mouth, right. when fed the appropriate amount of bodies and sacrifices, can open enough to allow the great draconic being to emerge once more into the realm as a scaly, monstrous head and claws and membranous wings emerge forth from seemingly inside a volcano, but in reality through this dimensional rift. And it roars as fiery magma pours from its mouth and the volcano begins to erupt with a draconian hiss. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> um, the Buffalo Exploration Team <laughs> caught between facing down a magma spewing <laughs> dragon named Carlos, calling it uh, named Carlos, <laughs> or spending the rest of eternity in Buffalo. Um, throw themselves into the chasm. <laughs> Uh, they 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 vainly <laughs> attempted to stand against the the, the dragon and uh, sorry Buffalo. fail 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 miserably. <laughs> um, and one other footnote uh, that Petrie off in his submarine oh. out at sea, just merrily singing a little song and just whistling away, enjoying his his new life as a submariner. Good on Petrie. It's he funny, had he the made, right he, idea all along. He, he made it out. As... Get out of here quickly. Uh, Craig, anything you want to wrap up? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> so the Carls on their way up the volcano attempted to claim the Caldera, uh, being summoned by this eye, uh, thinking that this this dragon Carlos is uh, is their long-awaited and beloved savior uh but as the dragon emerges and the volcano begins to erupt um the dragon takes a look around looks at the carls and and realizes these are not his people for this is in fact pete's dragon oh no hey and the dragon it. looks at the peats and says my children I'm sorry about killing the other ones. Uh, and uh, then he accidentally slips and, oops, falls out of the volcano, though, and crushes half of them, killing the Joes as well. Um, <coughs> fights the Cobras, and, uh, yeah. Um, the end. <laughs> in the end. And, uh, and they all lived happily ever after. They all lived happily ever after, and they banished the Joes to Buffalo. And the world shakes. And close the portal behind them. And yes. to the sound of no screams from behind. And Eudora is born anew once again. With the final yell of Coral! <laughs> In rainbow colors and dragons <laughs> and portals to Buffalo. <laughs> what will this new world hold? Hopefully something happier than what happened to this one. Um, but that is our quiet year. Which was anything uh, but. Which was yeah. anything but. Yeah. That was a pretty pretty busy quiet year, I gotta say. That was, yeah, that was, that was fun. A lot happened. Look at this map, man. Like, what? What even? I, mm -hmm. It's kind of wild. Nine-year-old me would be proud. Look at this. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it's amazing. All right. So another 
fast end, but uh, we will be back <laughs> next Monday, same time, same uh, Twitch channel. We will. Potential plan for next Monday is um, doing doing a bit of a gaming stream, um, seeing who's around. I think we have a few of us around, so possibly doing some uh, um, Jackbox TV or something along the lines. So we're just going to hang out, play some games. Um, so that's going to be one where if you are uh, watching us and you're joining in the stream, um, then we will put the codes up as well on the screen so that you can join in and play the game with us uh, or even become uh, part of the audience uh, and if you've played Jackbox games, you know that the audience can interact, and uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. So that'll be a bit of a little community event, chance to play some games with us. So don't miss out on that. Yeah, uh, thank you, Ian, for running three quiet years now. Uh, I've I've enjoyed this. Fun, fun, fun. I finally got to to jump in and be part of it. So that was good. Uh, don't forget to check out our uh, link tree, um, so you can see the link up above. Uh, link tr.ee slash elderbrain uh, and you can find links to all of our socials including our YouTube where you can find the VODs of our, our uh, all of our past videos uh, and you can find links to our Discord so you can join our community uh, and our Patreon and all that stuff as well uh, so please do that and that's it yeah I'm trying to figure out how to say bye with a P but <laughs> and it's, it's escaping me so Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant journeys. Pleasant journeys, go. sure, that works. So perchance to dream. Yeah. Um uh, yeah. We'll procrastinate <laughs> till the next time. So all right. Good night, everyone. Uh thank you Bye. very much for watching, joining us. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.